Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Aquarius. Hello fellow Aquas, this is Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as a cross watcher of the Aquarius. And this is your bonus timeless readings, which I do sometimes in between the zodiac signs. So I've done all 12 zodiac signs for the first part of August and before I hit the second half, let's go ahead and just do some other readings. You know, all readings are technically timeless, you know, because time is an illusion, but when we do them on these zodiacs, we are trying to zone in on a particular time period, but bitch, you got engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Holy shit balls. The one. I've been feeling super heavy again because it's constant, you know, repetitive that we get that whole energy of marriage engagement and i told you guys that on sunday this past sunday when i was changing my clothes about to film that special love reading everything you've always wanted or whatever it was called i heard clear as day in my head a masculine a man say to me so when are we getting married <laughs> i mean sometimes it's just like you can't make the shit up as i always say you can't make the shit up you can't make the shit up. Ten of Wands. Something's coming to an end. Ten is completion. Someone's been carrying this heavy load or burden. Someone's been in it alone. Someone's been the sole provider. Someone has been the one that has to depend on their motherfucking self. See that? It's like they're doing it all on their own. And then help arrives. And what's really fucking crazy is a few weeks ago, I heard it clear as day. While I was channeling on Instagram, um, help is on the way. And you guys have followed me for a long time, know that I've channeled before the SOS, putting out the call, right? The SOS, years ago. Help is on the way. Look, oh, that makes me so emotional. Help is on the way. I can relate, you know, we were in codependent, toxic relationships, most of us, right? Karmic, horrible relationships, but they made us who we were. So we need them. And once we got out of it, we didn't wait for someone to save us. We became our own hero. And a lot of us have just been carrying the weight. We've been fighting all of our wars alone. And so it's like help arrives. But will you relinquish control? Will you allow someone to come in and help you? Not save you. You've already done the saving. We're not going to get into another codependent toxic relationship. King of Swords. This could be you, Aquarius. This is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. So someone here who's a little bit more logical, someone here whose first initial response is not to use their heart or emotions. They come from a logical standpoint, right? They're very, very logical. They could be very smart, very intellectual, but this ain't going, but this ain't going to do nothing when it comes to this relationship shit. You got to be able to have a good balance between logic and using your fucking brain and discernment and love and emotions and what you feel and it feels like there could be a sense of emotional detachment whether that's past energy or current no that could have definitely been past or there is two motherfuckers i've always said it would come down to two some of you it's an air sign and a water sign cancer scorpio pisces with the king of cups so You ever have that where like you have no options and you're like, great. So all the options I have, I, I don't like it. I'm not feeling nobody. It's not lack of options. It's just lack of options we like. And then all of a sudden, how did that happen? I go from no, no good options to two. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of you, this is the same motherfucker, right? Where this person who's emotionally detached starts catching feelings and then it, it's connected to this. Don't get me wrong. It could be it just as well. Okay, nope, not feeling nothing. Nope, 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 nope. Then, oh my God, when are we getting married? Take it as it resonates. You could also have one person here. So this is two. You could have one person here who's open, who is showing you emotions, who's saying, okay, I want to marry you. Let's go on a date. I want to do whatever with you. And then you have one person who's keeping it all to themselves. For some person not saying anything has feelings they they do they just don't they don't know how to say it it's their ego yeah they're stubborn they're pride high priestess 
secret. See, that's that. I told you, they feel it. They're just not saying anything. So there is a secret here that may be revealed very suddenly and quickly. Something was there all along. You know, it's the whole, you've heard me sing it before. I know something's there that wasn't there before. Very Beauty and the Beast, right? It's, it's, but it was always there. It's like, no, it wasn't. It just happened. No, the realization of it just happened. But the connection and, and, and that spark, I think, was always there. I think the realization of it, the connection, connecting the dots together, is what's new. This is slowly but surely, right? But it's, take your fucking time with this shit. This is the one, they, they, they take the scenic route. So this may have taken time. It took time. It was meant to happen. It was always going to happen. See? It was always meant to happen. The lovers, Gemini, right? But the lovers is a decision in love. Some of you will have to choose between two. I just knew it so I could feel it for years that it would come down to two people. <sighs> the lovers is this connection, this magnetic attraction with two people whose souls just stick it's magnetic sexual attraction there's this sense of like desire there's this sense of ancient old souls right these are not these are not newbies as far as souls go these are ancient fuckers they're so well matched because they're yin yang, right? Masculine, feminine, yin yang. Is you see it even in the high priestess card. You see how you have white and black. It's it's light dark. They're it's sun moon. You know it's it's they're they're very yin yang. Perfectly matched. It's a perfect balance. They are their counterparts. Page of Wands. Someone's taking a second look. See, they're kind of like re-examining it, looking at it. Someone's taking a second look at this. Wait a second, I'm not sure now. No, they're taking a second look at her, the Queen of Wands. She all of a sudden I don't take don't be offended. Some for some of you, you all of a sudden become extremely attractive to them. And it's not because you're not attractive, but remember we go back to something's there that wasn't there before. Something clicks. So you always were attractive. You know, you, you ugly on the inside, you ugly on the outside. So bitch, we talking about you, you beautiful on the inside and it shows, right? And for some of you beautiful inside and out. They're attracted to her suddenly. Four swords, there's a bit of healing here, but also surrender. One more card and we're going to go into the extended. <sighs> Spine. This could also be a younger air sign. All right, let's go to the extended. To purchase that, click on the link below. It's going to be under the bonus timeless readings. Always match up the titles with, you know, the extendeds that you're purchasing or renting, excuse me. Um, follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Yes, my face is still really bad and not completely healed yet. Um... Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. When you go to my Instagram, in my bio, I have a link there, the Linktree link, which takes you to everything, right? How to follow me on TikTok, how to purchase my Zoom session tickets, how to uh, rent my erotica tarot readings on my website, which is on saltwaterhillstarot.com. They're just sexual tarot magic card readings, which I've been doing for years, but I really am and just kind of enjoying the fact of it sort of being more fantasy than anything else. And it's kind of going into the thing of me, you know, writing an erotic novel and I have been for a couple years trying to finish it. So if you want to rent those, go to my website directly, erotica tarot. Not that my, my website's not called erotica tarot, but that's what the section of it is called for the videos. So anyways, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm rambling at this point. All right, fellow aquas and aqua cross watchers, I will see you there. Love you.